Debbie Knobs, I'm the Parent and Community Liaison at Cranbourne West Primary School. Um, we're very lucky to have the job that I have here. Mr B, our school principal, approached me five and a half years ago because his vision for our school was to improve community engagement. He'd come from a small country school where all of the parents were involved in the school and he'd been trying for a number of years to develop the same sort of culture and characteristics at Cranbourne West. My role is diverse. It changes every year, sometimes it changes day to day and it makes the job very interesting, uh, challenging at times but always very exciting. Some of the things that we've been able to do at Cranbourne West include uh, setting up breakfast, brunch and emergency lunch club programs to ensure all of our children have access to food. We found that some children were missing school because their parents didn't have enough food for their lunches and they were worried about sending them to school without food. So that's been improving our attendance at school. Hi, my name's Donna Bates. Um, I know Debbie Nobbs through Cranbourne West Primary School, through Parents and Friends Group and School Council. Um, Debbie's amazing. Um, she's here to help support parents and teachers, but she goes above and beyond her duties with support with the parents. She's someone you can call on any time to talk to about any issue with students, even um, home problems. Um, she's amazing. She's done amazing things with this school. Um, I'm very proud to be part of this school. My name is Andrew Bergmere. I'm the principal of Cranbourne West Primary School. I've been the principal of the school for the last 11 years. Uh, I first saw Debbie at a conference, a principal conference, where she was talking about her relationship with the Islander children at Cranbourne Secondary College. And I knew then that she had what it takes to be uh, an effective community liaison person. Since she's been at the school, her achievements have been many and varied. But the biggest achievement for Debbie has been the influx that we now have of high quality volunteers in the school and a number of different programs that have concentrated on children welfare and engagement that have occurred. Hi, my name is Julie Brook. I've um, been volunteering here at Cranbourne West Primary School for the last seven years when my daughter started pre uh, prep here. Um, I started um, helping in the classrooms, helping the kids with their words and reading. Then I met Deb um, five years ago when she started and she's been my mentor ever since. Um, she's helped me develop my skills and um, sent me off in a heap of courses to do. Um, she paid for um, the government, there was like funding in the budget, so I, she sent me to do my integration aid course and ever since she's just been wonderful. Um, she's helped me all the time, she's helped all the parents if they've needed courses or help or advice. Um, yeah, she's been fantastic. I um, know Deb through the PNF committee and also school council. With the PNF committee, Deb helps us parents out a lot with advice and help on nearly everything that we do, including the disco. She's also volunteers on the night, which is fantastic. Um, breakfast club, when there's volunteers not available, Deb comes in by herself, which is fantastic as well to fill in any blanks that we may have. Deb's actually our parents and parent liaison officer, which she helps with many of the parents for many different things, issues at school and at home which is fantastic. She's very, very approachable, which makes life a lot easier. Another really exciting project we've had within our school was developed, started three years ago when one of our parents came and asked, could we develop a playgroup at school? She'd tried some local playgroups and hadn't felt comfortable or they hadn't been on at the right time for her or she'd had difficulties getting transport to them. And that's something we hear a lot from our families, that they have difficulties with transport. If they've got young children and the weather's often cold or rainy, it's difficult to get out if they don't have a car. So we did set up the playgroup about three years ago and it's been run by parent volunteers with my support throughout that time. One difficulty we had though is we didn't have the appropriate furniture and resources to run the playgroup successfully. So this year we've been really lucky, we've been funded through the City of Casey to set up a supported playgroup and parents group. And with that funding we've been able to buy appropriate furniture, art and craft activities, the right sorts of toys to assist children's developmental play. And we've also been able to employ a 
multilingual childcare worker. So Dahane uh, speaks Dari as well as a number of other languages and that's been fantastic because some of our Afghani parents have limited English confidence and they were having difficulties engaging with the rest of us and, and weren't coming to group regularly until we got Dahane on board. The group's gone from strength to strength and it's now gotten so big that we're actually looking at needing to run a second room or run a second group for next year. Um, Debbie is someone who literally transforms the community with her work. I've seen her in two different workplaces and she's literally transforming lives and that's a great thing. Our community needs people like Debbie. It's wonderful to hear her story and hopefully her story will inspire others. Mm -hmm.